up. Now you have Donald Trump yesterday putting on an Instagram post that is going to get more publicity. How many followers than, does he have? Than, but even beyond that, it is something where it is such a harsh <clears throat> attack. It is going to become central to this campaign. He puts it on there. It changes the tenor of the campaign the second he goes, or as he yeah. would go, bing, 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 <laughs> and it goes up on Instagram. We're going to play this for you. Uh, it is tough, and it is. It, it reminds, uh, reminds you of the Willie Horton ad. Yes, they broke the law, but it's not a felony. It's kind of the it's it's a it's a it's a it's an act of love. Of course, Jeb Bush talking about illegal immigration being an act of love. Yeah, love legal love immigrants love. coming over the border to come work, take uh, money back to their families, which of course we know that story repeats itself uh, tons and tons of time. Uh, but you can see those words are going to be hung around Jeb Bush's neck uh, over the next six months. Yeah, and more importantly, and it'll and, be effective. And uh, Phil just, uh, you know, brought out the some of the numbers in the poll. Donald Trump is a daily TV show now yep. in America. He's on TV yep. every day. And there are people out there who wonder, you know, one candidate says something if they pay it all attention to it, and they wonder, what's Trump going to say now? What's he going to do now? There's, there's almost an eagerness among a lot of people to tune in to our show, other shows, to see what Donald Trump just said. It's amazing. You know, but there's something interesting here in the whole tell it like, people loving the fact that Donald Trump tells it like it is, and that is, he's saying some things that unnerves the Republican Party. While he's saying things about immigration that, that the party base hedge fund likes hedge fund. yes that's exactly what i'm getting to his talk about raising taxes and things is scaring people on both the front page of the new york times and the washington post there are front page stories about in the in the washington post on economy Trump jolts Republican orthodoxy. In the New York Times, increased taxes talked by Trump alarms GOP. At what point does telling it like it is freak people but, but, out? But the key is, and I think you're right, he is saying Maybe things that, ever. That, that do scare we'll find some out. people, but they are, in the minds of many people, people who ought to be scared. You want to talk about the divide between Donald Trump and the Republican establishment? This is a perfect issue. I mean, I remember bringing this issue up. Uh, at the Republican Governors Association. Say, okay, because everybody's talking about, you know, my daddy, my daddy was oh, just a working class guy. He was just a real guy, he's salt of the earth guy, and he doesn't understand all this, this complicated stuff. But say, so, okay, well, so your daddy would not understand why a hedge funder in Greenwich, Connecticut is paying 14% taxes right. while he's working his ass off in the fields paying 28% taxes. Well, I'm not, I swear, and this is an exact quote, I'm not going to get into the details of carried interest with you right here. We can debate that another day. That's BS. And you know what? And Laura Ingram tweeted this back at somebody uh, yesterday that said, uh, said, I don't think anybody, uh, the, the base is really that concerned about hedge funders paying the same tax rates that everybody else pays. And uh, you bring up a fantastic issue that shows why there is a divide between working-class Republicans, middle-class Republicans, and establishment Republicans. Mm -hmm. And I think it's really cutting through.